Look up somebody and say, the spirit of wisdom, a God-given prosperity, a God-given wisdom, a God-given creativity is what causes you to prosper. But you gotta get the manifested presence. Look at says, look at somebody say fast, fast pray, pray, and obey. So you get the manifested presence. And then God will give you some supernatural ideas. So when you read Malachi 3, tithes and offerings, God says, see if I will not open to you the windows of heaven. What do you do with windows? You see out and you see in. God is trying to give you insight. He's trying to give you foresight. He's trying to give you creative ideas so you can see your way out of your situation and into what he has for you. See if I will not open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. It begins with supernatural creative idea, direction. That if you make a decision to follow, his blessing comes upon you. And Deuteronomy overtakes you. You say, why are you preaching this? Because in the times in which we live, it's going to take God's ideas. For you to thrive. Look at somebody say, you call to thrive in this chaos.
And because he had a heart that would do what God was saying, Solomon got all kinds of creative ideas. All you need, all you need is to get in this world until the mind of God manifests. Meditate until it magnifies. Have a full grown Jesus manifest on the inside of you and get a series of ideas from heaven. Okay, I'm trying to close, but I keep seeing this stuff. Everybody say vision. vision. Everybody say the vision of God. Vision of God. Everybody say that's where you're going. That's where you're going. Now you need to hear this. Vision is foresight. That's where God says you're to be going. But every vision to turn into reality needs, everybody say, administration. Amen. Administration is insight. It is wisdom. It is the sequential steps you've got to take to turn vision into reality. Yeah. Look at somebody and say, get wisdom. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Get understanding. That's why Proverbs says, wisdom is the principal thing. What you ought to be praying for is the spirit of wisdom.
Take this away from me, brother. Look at somebody say, I can't take no more. Now, you gotta, you gotta understand where I'm coming from. See, let me tell you what I could have done. I can use my gift, word of knowledge, discerning, spirit, prophecy, and call you out, and you out, and you out, and call 10 people out. And spend all my time doing that. Yeah. So, what are the rest of y'all gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Now, there's a time and a place for that. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's a time and a place for that. But I promise you, let me help you. See, let me help you. When I can't feel the presence of God and I don't know what to do, if I know the word, the principles of the word will guide me in my decision. Yeah. 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 When I can't hear the spirit say, do this. I can go and find the principle that says, do this. Look at somebody say, well, you can't be guided by the presence. Yeah. Be led by the principles. Yeah. Here's the thing. Even sometimes, and if you can really hear God well, sometimes, <laughs> you may not even know the principle, but the presence will tell you the principle, and you'll find out the principle later. So why do I spend so much time on the principles? Because if you never get the principles and the presence together, you got something. And you're called to have a powerful, successful life in Jesus Christ. Does that make sense? So here's what I want to do. I want to go ahead and have Mr. take up the offer, and then I'll pray for you. But look at somebody said that I got some work tonight. I got some work tonight. And, and Bishop, I think we're supposed to be here. We're supposed to start what time tomorrow morning? Nine o'clock. So if you're able, be here. Because, you know, we'll minister in the spirit. We we'll think we're supposed to be there like 12 30, 1 o'clock, 1 30. And then we'll be back tomorrow night at what time, Bishop? Okay. 7 o'clock. And then we're going to really. Look at somebody said, he really going to get the work. He don't really minister the spirit. See, here's my deal. I always, in the first service, even when you came at the conference, yeah. I spent the time in the Word. Now, Saturday morning, we had flat out miracles. We had like 10 people with metal in pain get healed. And metal disappeared. Or y'all don't know. We had, we had miracles happening that morning. But uh huh, we're going to preach this word. Amen. Look at what I said, the word first. Word. And uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you something that you can take with you that lasts longer than that. Uh, everybody say it lasts longer than the meat. Amen. And you say, well, you didn't preach me into a shower. Look at somebody say, think the, 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 the word. Do the word. Get the word words results. Look at somebody else say, after that, you're going to have something to shout about. Yeah. <laughs> Give the Lord Jesus a hand clap for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Let us sing praise the Lord tonight. And come on and put our hands together and thank God for the word of God. And thank God. And let us celebrate the word of God.